Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Rhino 7 and I'm going to be going over how to do a loft to create a base. First we want to go ahead and open up Rhino. And we're going to go ahead and say new. We're going to come down to small objects and in inches. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and work on the top and then we're going to move the items. So we're going to start with a circle. We'll click in the middle there. I'm going to make this circle six. Then we're going to go ahead and get the square. And we're going to change this to center. So we're going to go ahead and click center. And we'll go ahead and uh, drag this out to the center. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do a hexagon shape. Uh, we'll go ahead and click there. Make sure that the number of sides is uh, 8. And then we're going to go ahead and pull that to there. Okay, so now what we have to do is since the, these are all stacked on top of each other, we have to move them. So we'll go ahead and type in move in the command prompt. We'll click that first one. Go ahead and say that it's a curve. We'll right mouse click. We're going to click in the center there. And then we're going to drag that up a little bit. Okay, now go right mouse click to start over the move function. Select the second line. Say that it's a curve. Right mouse click. Click and drag. And if you want to hold down the shift key, you can go ahead and do that. Um, what I like, go ahead and right mouse click. We're going to move this. So it's more centered. Okay, this is going to be a basic loft. We have three objects, so it's going to go from the circle to a square to this uh, hexagon, eight-sided hexagon. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to type in loft, hit enter. It's asking for the curves that need to be lofted, so we're going to drag a marquee around all of these. We're going to right mouse click button. It's telling you the direction that's going to go, and we're going to hit enter. Now we have this, uh, we'll go ahead and view and uh, change the view here to rendered. Now we have this kind of a uh, uh, little uh, base here. Now um, to close it, we just want to say cap. We'll go ahead and click on uh, point here. We'll say curve and we'll say enter. Hmm. For some reason it didn't, uh, didn't close that. Let's cap it this way. Cap the bottom first. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have it capped. And if we want to make um, if we want to make this with a longer neck, uh, we can go ahead and go. Let's go undo to this. We'll drag this down. We're going to put this. We're going to move, so go ahead and type in move in your command prompt. We're going to go click there, right mouse click, go from, we'll go straight up like that. Okay, and now we're going to put a, let's put another transition right here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get our, uh, let's get a circle. This time we'll go ahead and get the circle and then we'll click in the center here. Let's turn off our endpoint snaps, put on the uh, center one. Undo, let's go mid to get our circle. And then we'll put a uh, transition in there. Now we're going to go ahead and type in move. I'm going to select down here because it's going to be down here. Right mouse click button. Click and we'll drag the circle up to midpoint there. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and type in the loft in the loft command. Hit enter. We're going to drag a marquee around these. Right mouse click button. Enter.
go ahead and say okay to this. I don't really want to change anything. Okay, now we have more of a of a twisted curved base. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is just hit the cap to close it. I'll click on this, hit enter. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put a uh, texture on this. So we'll go ahead and hit the plus, go to the library. We'll go put metal in there. We'll do a satin metal and we'll do a blue anodized aluminum. And we're going to go ahead and click over here. And now we have this little, little base with an interesting twist in it. So now we're going to shell this. So go ahead and type in shell. We want the shell thickness to be 0.125. So we're going to change that. Type in 0.125. Hit enter. We're going to click on the top there. And then we're going to hit enter. Takes a little bit. Okay, now the base is shelled. So that's a simple way to do a loft with about four objects. Um, you can do a real simple one. I'll go ahead and show you if you want to just use circles. You could go ahead and get your circle tool. Let's go from the middle. You could start off with a six and a half base. Then you could do another one in the middle. That's that's nine. Then you could do another one that's a little bit smaller. And then you could do yet another one that's smaller. Until finally you have the, uh, the neck. All right, so now what you can do is go ahead and go the same process. Go back to move. Just make sure that you move these. Curve, right mouse click, pull from center, <clears throat> straight up. Then go right mouse click to repeat the process. Click on the line, say that it's a curve. Right mouse click, click, drag straight up. That's going to be our smaller neck. Right mouse click starts the line up to move over again. Select curve, right mouse click from there. Okay, go right mouse click, select the line, curve, right mouse click, go from the center. Okay, now you have a you have a a big circle here, a little bit bigger one here, and now you can space these out again. So right mouse click, select, right mouse click, go from center, move it down a little bit, right mouse click. Select that line, right mouse click, go from center. So now you can kind of see the direction that this that this uh, thing's going to go. I want to want the neck to be a little taller. So we're going to go right mouse click, click on that, go from center, and go straight up. Okay, one of the circles got thrown off, so we'll go ahead and move that. So go ahead and right mouse click. Select the circle, right mouse click, we'll go from center back to the center. So now they're where they're supposed to be. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and type in our loft. This is a little bit simpler loft with all the same uh, circles instead of uh, mixing it up. Right mouse click, enter. Then we'll go ahead and say OK. Oh, you know, it missed that top one there. So let's undo that. Uh, go ahead and type in zoom in the window here. Zoom dynamic. And we're going to come shrink that down a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to type move in the command prompt. We're going to um, actually, we can leave that like that. Go ahead and get your pointer tool. Type in loft. Enter. Go ahead and select all these points. Right mouse click, enter. And then hit OK. All right, so this is our little lofted bowl. 
The only other thing we want to do is cap it. So we'll go ahead and type cap in the command prompt. We'll slip click on the bottom, hit enter. Now we have a capped uh, bowl. We're going to go ahead and click and add this anodized plastic to it. We'll go ahead and type zoom in the command prompt. We'll zoom dynamic. Click and minus to drag out. Go ahead and click on the pointer tool. So now we have a nice little vase here. And then uh, we'll go ahead and shell this. It'll be the last thing we do here. Enter. Thickness of uh, 0.125. Go ahead and click on the top and hit enter. Okay, so there's our shelled little, little bowl or a base. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and put a create a lid for this. You just create your half of your lid up here and then you revolve it around. Um, but that's going to be it. That's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you got something useful out of this and you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching.